Simon Cowell admits he feared he had broken his neck after horror fall at his London home. Simon Cowell admitted he feared he had broken his neck when he fell down the stairs at his London home. The music mogul was rushed to hospital after he tripped down the stairs whilst going to get a glass of milk, forcing him to miss the X Factor live shows. Speaking to The Sun, Simon, 58, has since revealed the thoughts that were going through his mind as he laid on the floor, which included being reprimanded by infant son Eric. He said, I was lying on my back thinking, I hope I haven't broken my neck. But the NHS staff were the most amazing people I've ever met, genuinely. Fortunately, it was all fine. He, Eric, probably would have told me off and I didn't want to worry him. He's only three. Whilst the fall hasn't left Simon with any lasting damage, it has helped him realize what is important. He added, it does make you realize what's truly important in life. It comes after Simon admitted low blood pressure was to blame for his slip and has vowed to change his lifestyle in order to make sure he is as fit as he can be so that he can be a responsible father for Eric. He said and recently, sometimes we get a reminder that we're not invincible and this was certainly mine. It was a huge shock. They think I fainted because I had low blood pressure and so I have got to really take good care of myself to sort that out. After all I am a dad and have more responsibility than ever. Explaining how it happened, he added, I'd gone to get some hot milk because I felt ropey. On the way back upstairs, I just remember feeling really dizzy. Next thing I know someone was putting a neck brace on me and I had a terrible headache, which must have been from me hitting the stairs. I was worried at first that I'd done some real damage. But I'm on the mend now. I know I was very lucky I didn't hurt myself seriously. It could have been a lot worse. I must say, everyone at the hospital were incredible. I'm truly grateful. After his fall, Simon was forced to bow out of the The X Factor's first live shows, sparking panic among contestants. He looked dazed as he arrived home that afternoon, looking slightly disheveled in tracksuit bottoms and trainers. Speaking at his front door, he said, I fainted and fell down the stairs. I've got a bit of concussion. I feel better now. He also thanked fans for their conquering. And it seems after the drama subsided, the music boss was keen to overhaul his exercise regime. He is said to be launching into a fitness kick and is reportedly splashing out on seven electric bicycles at a cost of almost £60,000 so he can cycle to and from work. Simon underwent a series of blood tests after passing out and tripping at home last Friday and as a result is keen to get fit whilst doctors examine the cause of his fainting. Known to be a bit of a petrol head with a fleet of cars including a Bentley, Rolls, Bugatti Veyron and an Aston Martin DB9, Simon's latest investment is a little more environmentally friendly. Whilst the four-mile round trip to work is hardly arduous, especially given the bike is electronically powered, the X-Factor mogul believes he has already seen an improvement in his fitness. Cal reprised his judging role in week two of the X-Factor live shows, while sporting a faded bruise on his neck as he gave his category, the groups, some words of advice during rehearsals. Gal was no doubt keen to avoid another repeat of last Saturday, where Sharon Osbourne, Louis Walsh and Nicole Skeppersinger were forced to go ahead without him. Britain's Got Talent judge Aisha Dixon was ushered in as the replacement mentor when Simon missed the first live shows due to his accident.